Hello there! Let's not waste any time and discuss the future of Bioware as a whole as a studio. But before we do that, can someone explain me how we've got from this in 2014 to this in 2024? The game became more cartoonish. We kinda have seen this trend going on since the Dragon Age Origins, but that's a big jump towards cartoonishness. And people are not happy about that. Like literally nobody asked for that. That cinematic trailer looks like a trailer that you could have seen on an ad on YouTube for a mobile game. Ok, let's get back to the discussion about Bioware future. What can we expect? First of all, let's talk about the games that Bioware develops. We are expecting two games from Bioware right now. It's League of Legends, <clears throat> Dragon Age Veilguard and Mass Effect 4. At least, these are the games that were being announced. Yes, Bioware can potentially, eventually, work on Anthem 2, but we all hope that it won't happen. EA made Bioware abandon those two game universes and develop a multiplayer game, because they wanted to have one more multiplayer cow. I hope we won't see another Anthem. It is actually crazy how many multiplayer games failed in last years. Hundreds of millions, if not billions, were thrown to the trash because game studios and game publishers can't read the room and understand that gamers can play in only so much multiplayer games. Like that's physically impossible to play all of those games. Bioware could potentially develop a Star Wars game, but that isn't in the nearest future. So we have Dragon Age and Mass Effect. What are the issues that Bioware will encounter in the development of Dragon Age and Mass Effect? The biggest issue in developing Dragon Age, in my opinion, is the technical issues, such as first and foremost, gameplay. Yes, we had a look at Veilguard gameplay, but when talking about melee combat systems, we can't be certain which buttons the player was pressing. We saw a lot of moves, but are those moves the outcome of the player's skills or is it just pressing one button and the character is doing combos automatically? You see, Dragon Age is kinda stuck between action-based combat and tactical classic-based combat. If you're doing a good action combat, your classic combat is gonna suck. If you won't, your action combat will feel lame and will feel more like a clicker combat, where you press one button and the character does the rest. One may say, but they're going to separate tactic from action combat. Yeah, but when will you use tactic? If the game is easy and you don't need to use tactic, then it is completely unnecessary. If you'll need to use tactic, then it will break the flow of your action combat. Like there is no escape from that situation. The best you can get from that situation is to have ok combat. Not good in being action and not good in being tactic. Just meh. Pretty much like in Dragon Age Inquisition. So that's a trap. <clears throat> wrong picture. Uh, wrong again. Sorry. So that's a trap for Bioware. No matter what they do, they're going to get hated. If they're going to keep the middle ground, they're going to upset the both groups of people a little. If they're going to push towards tactic, the action group will be upset. And if they're going to push towards the action, the tactic group will be upset. So far, from that gameplay reveal that we saw, it seems that Bioware is going to push towards action combat. And tactic people are already upset. It seems logical to push towards action combat because the action crowd is bigger than the tactic one. But again, why you have the party based gameplay? Why do you have that group of people with you? Initially it was because you had more tactic, now they're going to be more for the narrative aspect. Now before move on, subscribe to the channel, leave a like and hit that notification bell. Thank you. Now speaking about the narrative aspect. Narratively I think Veilguard is going to be fine. Of course, it will depend on the writers, but I don't see such an existential issue on the narrative part as I see on the gameplay part. There is a lot of room for creativity in Dragon Age universe. I hope that we will see a lot of interesting characters. I mean, we have Varric, so that's already great. Again, that depends on the writers, and I'm not saying that the narrative part will be good. I'm saying that there is no excuse 
for the narrative to be bad. If it will be bad, then that means that Bioware effed up, and that is completely possible. Now, to summarize it all, Dragon Age Veilguard is visually a disaster. Gameplay-wise, Bioware is in a trap. Story-wise, it will depend on the writers. However, in my opinion, in Dragon Age, the story and narrative is the main thing in the game. If it will be good, the game is gonna be good. My prediction is that Veilguard is gonna be on the level of Inquisition. Some may say that it is pretty bad, but I don't think that Inquisition was really that bad. Aside from all of that MMORPG meaningless side quests, the game was okay, not great, not terrible. And that is my prediction. Veilguard is gonna be not great, not terrible. It is gonna be like Starfield. Depends on what you expect from the game. If you are expecting a good game or a great game, something like Dragon Age Origins, you are gonna be upset. Now, let's talk a little about the other game universe of Bioware. That is Mass Effect. We only have an announcement trailer. No, not even a trailer, but a teaser. Now, what can we expect from Mass Effect 4? What are the issues that Bioware is going to encounter in the development of Mass Effect 4? Actually, the issues that Bioware is going to encounter in the development of Mass Effect 4 are the opposite of what Bioware is encountering now in the development of Veilguard. That is, gameplay-wise, I think that we're going to be fine. I mean, it really isn't that hard to make a single-player cover-based shooter. You press the button and the gun shoots. Of course, it is more complicated than that, but conceptually it is way easier to do than a melee combat. I mean, Mass Effect Andromeda wasn't bad in that regard. Yeah, sometimes there were some balance issues, but overall the combat was good. The issues with Mass Effect 4 is gonna lie in the narrative. The story of Mass Effect is pretty much over with the original trilogy, and it is hard to come up with something interesting and new. The Milky Way galaxy is pretty much explored in the original trilogy, as well as the majority of the conflicts from the original trilogy, such as Krogan Genophage or the Geth issue. That's why Mass Effect Andromeda was in Andromeda, because there's pretty much no more species to encounter and no more places to explore. So they moved us to Andromeda, so we can explore something new. Though unfortunately, there were only two new species in Andromeda, and only one to actually interact with. So that narrative part is gonna be the biggest issue of Mass Effect 4, as well it was the biggest issue of Mass Effect Andromeda, and Bioware failed this task in Andromeda. Not only that, but they failed Andromeda Galaxy as the place in the Mass Effect universe. Like, what they're going to do now? Are they going to place us in the Milky Way, where everything is explored? Or in Andromeda Galaxy, where everything is explored? Or in some other galaxy, who knows? Are they gonna be like, Um, actually, there are four more species in Andromeda Galaxy that you didn't encounter in Mass Effect Andromeda. So they're just gonna pull out new species out of butthole and act cool. Like, we need new things to explore, new places, new mysteries, and new species. And that's gonna be the issue that Bioware will have to deal with. And I don't know how they're going to deal with it. Considering the game Mass Effect Andromeda, I don't think they're capable to deal with this issue. I would like to be wrong on that one. And that's what it is. Now, thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell. Check out my other videos, eat your vegetables and don't be naughty. See you later.